Starts joining us now, time for uh, something really interesting. It's Heart Health Month. Mm -hmm. This month we're looking at how maintaining good oral health, taking mm -hmm. care of your mouth, can protect your heart. Yeah, exactly. Now, I do want to be very clear. There are many factors that increase your risk of sure. heart disease, as we all know. So things like obesity, smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, all those kinds of things. And the latest research shows that there's not an exact causal link. So what that means is they don't say, if you have gum disease, you're going to have a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So they're not saying that. But what they're saying is, is there's a very distinct connection here. And so they need more research to find out what's going on. In fact, if people do have heart disease and they're going to the dentist, for example, a lot of those people will be given an antibiotic just to be safe when, while they're having really? their dental work okay. done. Yes. So there is a connection here. We're just not quite sure exactly how it's working and more research needs to be done. But what we're suggesting is, is that you know, if your gums are healthy, you're that much farther ahead of reducing your risk for heart disease. So I spoke to orthodontist Dr. Sam Daher explains, and he explains this link between our gums and our heart. When people have gum disease, be it from crowded teeth, be it the missing teeth, or whether it's genetic or not, what happens is uh, there's inflammation in there, which means there's bacteria present, what we call pockets, which is that space between the gum and the teeth. So these bacteria can produce toxins. Now, we always think of, of sort of bloody gum as, as the blood going out, but we, we, we don't think of it as a two-way street. Bacteria can actually get into the bloodstream as well. So be it the bacteria themselves or some of the products, some of the toxic products that are produced by the bacteria can actually travel through the blood. And you know, as the blood circulates all over the body, it can affect the heart or even the blood vessels that lead to the heart. Interesting, wow. yeah. I, I never thought of that. I know. I said, let's let's give me an example. And he's like, well, let's think of it this way. So if I cut my arm, for example, okay. at least I've got skin there. So that's another barrier between this bacteria and our bloodstream. In the gums, there's no skin there. There's no skin. There's no skin there, right? So yeah. it's going right to your bloodstream. Huh. So it's a very direct route for that bacteria that can be in your mouth. And there's also a lot more circulation, lots more blood flow happening in your mouth as well. So not only is it a more direct route, but it's getting around faster. <laughs> so Double whammy. Exactly, exactly. So then this bacteria can do a number of things. So the bad bacteria itself can cause harm to the heart, or our body's own immune system responds to that bad bacteria. The reaction to it, yes, okay, yeah. Yes, can cause problems in the heart. So huh. there's a couple things going on there. So the bottom line is, and the simple thing that we can all do, is really make sure that we have really good oral health and make sure that those gums are healthy. Dr. Daher explains how to do that. Maintaining good, healthy gums, teeth, um, making sure we scrape our tongue and clean our tongue. A lot of bacteria actually can live on the tongue. So scraping the tongue, brushing the inside of the cheek, uh, brushing the gums as well. We can't overlook any of these. This is uh, one way of decreasing. We can never le really eliminate bacteria, but we can decrease their number. And the lower the number, obviously, uh, the better the immune system can, find the, can fight these bacteria. Interesting. So you want to make sure that you're brushing your tongue and your cheeks too. And of course <laughs> flossing, yeah. right, as we all know. Uh, you also want to make sure your teeth are straight so there's no gaps in there. And see your hygienist every six months, of course, to make sure they can do a proper cleaning. And of course, just make sure they keep all these things in mind as something that's just one more way to reduce your risk factors for heart disease. Good advice. And this is going to be on your blog? On my blog, you bet. Good stuff. Looking forward to it. We have a lot more to cover on BT. Stick around.